Good morning. I'm Becca Young coming to you from First Presbyterian Church in Covington, Virginia. Our Bible passage today is Psalm 33, verses 18 through 22. Truly the eye of the Lord is on those who fear God, on those who hope in God's steadfast love to deliver their soul from death and to keep them alive in famine. Our soul waits for the Lord. God is our help and shield. Our heart is glad in the Lord because we trust in God's holy name. Let your steadfast love, O Lord, be upon us, even as we hope in you. Today, I would like to, be, to thank God for the wonderful creative ways in people in the midst of this lockdown are using their creativity to brighten other people's lives. My first example is our own Martha Carter who put pinwheels, filled the yards of our preschoolers who can't come to class now with pinwheels. And the other thing, uh, just this is just one of many ways people are doing it is the um, chalk art. And I have a few pieces of the chalk art. Well, I thought I did. I have a few pieces of fun pieces of this chalk art to show you that I found. Uh, there's no place like home. No, seriously, stay home. Look at this stuff. Isn't it neat? We will get through this. Stronger together, but six feet apart. We'll trade toilet paper for chalk. Thank you, and we will be okay. Let us pray. Dear God, we thank you for people who are inspiring others with clever forms of expression in the midst of social distancing particularly around hospitals to revive the spirits both of the patients and of the healthcare workers. We thank you for our own Martha Carter, brightening up her preschoolers day. We also ask, thank you for others who've hung signs and put up lots of different types of artwork. And of course the chalk art. We thank you for the creativity and positivity that this shows. May it help people to be willing to stay home and to wear masks and to make sure we all do our part to reduce the impact of this horrible disease. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Thanks for joining me, and I will see you tomorrow.